Okay, this is Trigger. So in a previous uh, in a previous screencast, we talked about this uh, the order of operations, like how things how Max decides what to execute. It looks like everything's happening at the same time all the time, but actually it's a computer, so it can only do one thing at a time. So Max does this right to left, top to bottom, depth first traversal, based on where things are physically on the screen. I always, you know, that surprised me after like a year of learning Max that. Um, where things are on the screen matters. Um, and that's kind of troubling in some ways, like that you can just rearrange things and drastically change right. the order of operations. That bothers me for some reason. So as soon as I figured about uh, figure out, uh, figured out about this object trigger, I started using it pretty much all the time. Whenever the order of operations matters, I still use trigger. And a lot of, you know, most people use trigger a lot because it gives you complete control over uh, kind of more intuitive control over what order things happen. Right. So um, triggers just lets you trigger things in a specific order. So in this case, this says T B B B. Now that is a really, I don't know. I think that's a pretty goofy way to name I, things. It T -B -B -B. is. T B B B. If I were a new, brand new to Max and I saw this object and it said T B B B, I'd be completely confused. Yeah. But what it means is trigger. You can abbreviate the word trigger with the word letter T. T. So this really, what this means is um, trigger BBBB. So, okay, also BBB means bang. So this is gonna trigger a bang, a bang, and a bang. So these three letters are arguments to the object trigger. Mm -hmm. And for every argument that you make in the trigger object, it's gonna generate an output, uh, an outlet, sorry. And the outlet is going to trigger a certain type of thing. So there's like a bang kind of outlet, and there's so this is everything here. You can have trigger followed by a B or an F or an I or an S or an L. So that means bang, float, int, symbol, list. In this case, we have trigger BBB. So it's going to trigger a bang, a bang, and a bang, but it's going to trigger them in uh, right to left order. So this one is always going to be triggered first and then this one, and then this one. And if we tur turn on, well, let's open the um, console real quick and clear it and move this. Now I'm gonna turn, uh, I'm gonna fire this button. The button's gonna hit trigger and trigger's gonna do its thing, which is to do bang, bang, bang. bang. That's why it says BBB. B. So it's gonna trigger bang, bang, bang in that order. And if we print that, we should see first, second, third. So the, the bangs that come out of trigger are gonna hit these messages, which are gonna you know, send that text into the print object. So now, mm -hmm. if you were to unlock the patch and say drag the word second to exactly. the right of it, right. what happens? Okay, when we did it before, it said first, second, third. I'll clear it and we'll do it again. Ordinarily, it would say second, first, third. Right, but because of the right to it left. It still says first, second, third. Because now where stuff is on the page doesn't matter because we're using trigger to control sort the of order of that. operations. Cool. Right. Okay, and that's all that trigger does. Um, why can't I unlock this? Okay. And, oh, let me turn on, just because it's kind of fun, I'll just enable debugging. And we'll hit this again. Hold on, let me clear the page. And I'll hit this bang. Oh, it pops up this window. Hold on. Let's try that one more time. Let's move that out of the way. Um, and you can see the order that it's doing things. So I hit the button. I'll just clear this out and we'll do it again. Hit the button. And it's first, it's going to do first. Then it's going to do the second one. And then the third. Pretty self explanatory. Okay. Um, it works just the same way with, you can you know, have as many items in. Uh, being triggered as you want. So here I'm triggering five bangs and it's going to trigger them in sequence. I don't think we need to show that. Um, but you can trigger bangs, you can trigger floats, uh, you could trigger some um, specific, uh, let's see, so I could do trigger one, two, three, four. And because they're integers, it's going to generate four outlets. And if I create a button and I do that and I print them, it's not just gonna trigger any old integer, it's gonna trigger the actual integer that's in there. So here it's gonna print four, three, two, one. Uh, four, three, two, one. So I put those in there. So if you need to specifically trigger a specific number uh, or you know a set of numbers, you can do it that way. Or you can trigger um, 
a list, uh, a symbol, um, an integer, a float, a bang. So now here, so I have this object, this uh, message box, and it's got a 1.5 and a 0 0.6 and a 4.7 in it. And what's gonna happen when I press this button? Let's find out. So that is gonna go into the trigger. And I believe because this is a list of items, it's gonna all come out this outlet. Let's find out. Hmm, that was interesting. Okay, so it came out of the list outlet, of the symbol outlet, and then the first number in the list, because this is a list, the first number came out the integer outlet, the first, but truncated because it's, it just took the, the first digit. This uh, 1.5, the first element in this list came out the second outlet, and then it also triggered the bank. So, um, there's, you know, you'll get used to using trigger, but I wanted to show it here as just as um, this is how you can easily control the order that things happen. So we should probably leave it there. Trigger, probably. Trigger something that takes some time to learn. But uh, let's